this is a model of a of a mosquito head. Um, it's a female mosquito. Only the females feed on blood because they need the blood meal to um, to produce eggs. And when she feeds on you, that sort of innocent act, um, what she does is basically push these mouth parts, you know, through the skin to try and hit a blood vessel, hit a, a capillary. Um, there's actually little barbs on here, and she sort of slices in, into the skin. And um, when she, she reaches that blood, the blood goes up these mouth parts. So I'm going to move this to the side here, and we'll see this model. So this one is it's a section through the mosquito. Can you see that okay? All right. So here's a, here are those mouth parts. This is a smaller model, obviously, the scale. And that mosquito um, feeds on blood. The blood goes up and into this area here, um, what we call the midgut. And if it's the right sort of mosquito for the virus, um, then if she is feeding on a person, for example, infected with Zika and they have Zika virus in their blood, that virus goes up with the blood meal into, into that midgut there. And then over the course of a few days, sort of depending on temperature, maybe a week or so, that virus goes from, from that midgut and it, it multiplies and then spreads to different tissues. The key tissue is, is this here. This is a salivary gland. Once the virus reaches the salivary glands, um, that mosquito is infectious. She's able to transmit. When she feeds on you, so this is why some people come up in you know, a, a bump when a mosquito feeds on them, she is spitting up to 100 different proteins into your skin. Those have, have evolved. Um, the purpose of those is to enable her to feed quickly and painlessly, if you like. Those substances open up blood vessels, it stops clotting, so she can get a, a really quick meal. But when she's infected, that saliva also contains a virus, and that's how people get infected. One of the reasons that Zika has spread, um, you know, so quickly, um, and so many people have been infected, is because uh, it's a new virus in a new area. Mm -hmm. So none of the people um, that are being fed upon have ever been exposed to Zika before. Before, so they're, you know, what we call naive, right. and so they're highly susceptible to, to infection.